Interstate 20 in Texas is a major east-west interstate highway in the southern United States, running east from a junction with I-10 east of Kent, Texas, through the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex to the border with Louisiana near Wascom, Texas. The original distance of I-20 was 647 miles from I-10 to the Louisiana border, reduced to the current distance of 636 miles with the rerouting of I-20 in the 1980s and 1990s. I-20 is known as the Ronald Reagan Memorial Highway within the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I-20 in Texas was designated in 1959, and was to replace or run parallel to U.S. Route 80. Initial construction began from east to west and has bypassed loops around larger cities. On October 1, 1964, I-20 was rerouted so that it followed I-35 watts through Fort Worth. By 1967, the highway was complete from the Louisiana border to the western side of Fort Worth on a route to the south of US-80, with slower construction in the lesser populated areas of West Texas concurrent with US-80. On December 2, 1971, I-20 was rerouted across the southern side of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, with the old section through downtown Dallas and Fort Worth being redesignated as I-30. In 1991, the entire concurrent designation of US-80 was removed from the I-10 interchange to Dallas. I-20 begins its eastward journey at a junction with I-10 in a desolate region of West Texas about 6 miles east of the town of Kent. I-20 leaves the interchange with I-10 with a speed limit of 80 miles per hour until mile marker 89. I-20 also generally heads to the east-northeast passing by the cities of Odessa and Midland while transitioning from the West Texas desert to the prairie. I-20 runs concurrently with the La Entrada Al Pacifico corridor from its junction with US 385 in Odessa to its junction with Farm to Market Road 1788 near Midland International Airport. Near Sweetwater, I-20 begins to head east as it heads toward the city of Abilene. In Abilene, I-20 curves toward the north and transverses the northern part of the city while also forming the northern arc of the loop around the city. I-20 continues heading east from Abilene until the town of Eastland when I-20 takes a more northeasterly route toward Weatherford while transitioning from the West Texas Prairie to the central plains of North Texas as the terrain grows hilly. In Weatherford, I-20 again heads back toward the east as it heads toward the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I-20 in southern Fort Worth I-20 interchanges with I-30 west of Fort Worth with I-30 heading east and I-20 to the southeast. I-20 heads back toward the east when it interchanges with I-820. I-20 forms the southern arc of the complete loop around the city of Fort Worth, and serves as the southernmost west-east freeway in the Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex. Interchanging with I-35 watts south of downtown Fort Worth, I-20 heads east toward Dallas passing through Arlington, where it is also known as the Ronald Reagan Memorial Highway. From Arlington, I-20 passes into Dallas County at Grand Prairie and heads east into Dallas, interchanging with I-35 east south of downtown and I-45 shortly after. I-20 intersects with I-635 on Dallas' southeast side before heading east toward East Texas. The interstate varies from 4 to 10 lanes from its I-30 junction near Alito to its US-80 junction near Terrell. A travel information center located at I-20 exit 635 I-20 leaves the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and heads generally to the east-southeast through East Texas. I-20 begins heading to the east as it passes to the north of the city of Canton. The intersection of I-20 at US-69 in Lindale just north of Tyler is the highest traffic count intersection on I-20 east of Terrell to the Louisiana state line. From Lindale, I-20 continues east, going through the Piney Woods region of East Texas intersecting US-259 with Kilgore to the south and Longview to the north and US-59 future I-369 with Marshall just to the north and Texarkana further north along US-59 future I-369. I-20 leaves the state of Texas near Wascom and just west of the Shreveport, Bossier City, Louisiana area. I-20 has one auxiliary route in Texas. All of the business loops within Texas are maintained by the Texas Department of Transportation. I-20 has 15 business loops in the state, all located in western Texas. Along I-20, TX dot identifies each business route as business interstate 20 followed by an alphabetic suffix. Along Texas interstates, the alphabetic suffixes on business route names ascend eastward and northward. There are gaps in the alphabetic values to allow for future system expansion. The alphabetic naming suffixes are included as small letters on the bottom of route shields. State Highway Loop 254 takes the place of a business route in Ranger, Texas, and follows the original route of US-80. 
I-20 business routes in Texas generally follow the path of the former U.S. 80 through the central portions of towns now bypassed by the interstate route. Template attached KML slash Interstate 20 in Texas KML is from Wikidata. Thanks for watching.